What's up everybody? Welcome to Black Nation TV where we give you the freshest youth content. Today we have Lex LeFoy and DJ Duop in the studio and they're going to be telling us more about their tour. Huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Mm -hmm. okay, so please guys, tell us more about it. But firstly, tell us more about yourselves. Okay. Well, so I'm DJ Duop. <laughs> um, I'm on YFM and do the Hot 99 dubstep. Mm -hmm. I'm also a live mix DJ and a DJ for Lex Foy and I also just play a whole lot of bass music all the time. Um, we teamed up like a while ago. Lex, she's an amazing rapper, she'll tell you more about it. Sure, okay. I'm um, Lex Lafoy and I'm originally from Durban. Moved up to Joburg in 2012 after I finished my degree. And yeah, so I've been writing, been performing, started off as a freestyle battle performance rapper MC. Mm. And yeah, I kind of felt the need to move on from that. So now my thing is called bass rap. For sure. Yeah, I, I just I rap on the bass. Sure. <laughs> Another thing I want to personally get into, because I'm a feminist and I'm all for women, and um, it was the Purple Velvet Tour, right? Yes. All female hip hop tour. That's right. How rad is that? Yeah, it was amazing. As, as Dua mentioned, it was um, myself and Dua from South Africa. Mm -hmm. It was um, Charlotte Ammons from North Carolina and her two uh, band members, Gay and And they were also females? No, those two were male. Okay. And then um, there was Zuki. Now, Zuki just released her latest album called Lila Sant, which okay. is translated as Purple Velvet. And Great. so the tour was, was um, you know, made around that. Lovely. The release of Zuki's album. Okay. And Zuki is a big time feminist. Mm. So we. <laughs> Artists are not just artists in Europe, they are activists. Activists, yeah, yeah, for sure. Because so it, it, yeah. it actually um, feels as though the whole tour was an activism yeah. kind of movement. More we than did a lot of talks work. and uh, Lex performed at like this room. What was it? There was a pro immigration. Anti, -ra um, anti racist campaign oh, we attended. Power. And, no, and, <laughs> and, and you know what shook my world? Is yeah. that here with like thousands of young people who dedicated their time and their energy to the rights of people they didn't even know. Yeah. Here were like people from Africa yeah. having moved into Europe, some of you don't even know. Seeking you, asylum. You know? For sure. and, and there were these. Because when I think politics here at home, I think our oh, comrade. I think, you know, I think, yeah, comrade. Together, she's, move forward. You know, I, I think of, and I also think of older people um, partaking more. That's just my perspective of it. Yet seeing young people, young hipster, vibey, artsy, creative people that fight are really for the rights. Like yeah, that. fight for the rights of others. Um, really opened my eyes, mm. you know, and, and it kind of gave me an idea of what it may have been like in 76 or in the 70s and 80s in sure. South Africa, where the youth were literally charged mm. with the need to exactly. change the situation. Exactly. Yeah. Um.